Hi folks, Bob at Rightway Trailers. We're here today to show you this beautiful show hauler, 35 foot box, 45 foot overall motor coach. This particular unit is on a Peterbilt 579 chassis. It has uh, 560 horsepower, 1,850 foot-pounds of torque, plenty of power to pull you up the hills. Uh, this is a custom retail sold unit. The customer opted for the four color full body paint job. And uh, as you can see, it's beautiful, four different colors, clear coat, uh, really adds that, that high class motorhome touch here. Uh, we'll go over some of the features of the outside in a minute, but I think we'll, we'll start uh, showing some of the uh, compartments here and uh, everything that's on one of these units. Okay, on the passenger side, uh, we have two slide outs, uh, this living room slide out and a bedroom slide out. The, there's also two on the other side, so this is a four slide unit. Uh, we do have a uh, roll out box awning here with LED lighting underneath it. And in the compartments, just a quick view, we've got a nice large storage compartment here, the number one compartment. The number two compartment is a full entertainment center, stereo, TV flips down, slides out. Uh, real nice for hanging out outside. Third one, this is our uh, charging inverter system. Also has some fuse banks in there, circuit breakers. Other side of the door, we have our four six volt batteries, which will power the coach on batteries whenever you're not using the generator or don't have 110. And uh, one of the favorite ones people really like, this is a refrigerator freezer on a slide. pulls out, large size, real handy so that uh, you don't have to go in and out of the coach uh, in the summertime when it's uh, real hot out and you have people wanting to get drinks and so forth. Okay, here we are behind the rear axle. We have uh, another storage compartment. Uh, this one actually has a pass-through. It goes clear to the other side of the coach for hauling long items, fishing poles, things like that. It's kind of handy. It goes in another compartment on the other side. And in this back uh, compartment is a real nice feature uh, that the customer chose for this unit is our Oasis Aqua Hot water system. Uh, what this does is it's a diesel fired boiler. It makes all the domestic hot water and all the water for heat uh, for inside the coach. It also has a feature on it that it's hooked to the engine of the coach so that provides heat back in the uh, motorhome part of the coach when you're going down the road. You can also flip a switch if you're in a cold climate and the uh, heat from this system will preheat the engine. We'll go around the back here. So you see we have uh, one piece fiberglass cap on the back, uh, ladder going up to the top for service. We have a backup camera, 40,000 pound hitch on this coach. So if you need to pull a big stacker, or a big trailer of some kind, it is not a problem. 40,000 pound hitch. Also have a nice mud flap across the back. All LED lights, all the marker lights, all the uh, tail lights, everything's LED on this coach. All right, we'll move to the other side. Okay, we're back at the driver's side of the coach. Here we have a pretty large storage compartment. It's also our, our power compartment where we have a motor base plug and our big 50 amp shore cord. Sucked in here, has a hatch to drop it through the floor when you're uh, parked somewhere. Our next compartment is, again, storage. You can see the pass-through there. It actually goes over to the other side of that compartment just ahead of the rear tires. We've also got our large bedroom and bunk slide here. And then our super slide, living room slide, is uh, ahead of the axles. We'll move on up to some more compartments. Okay, ahead of the wheels on the driver's side, we, here's our exhaust for uh, the truck and these new trucks. Uh, they're the clean burn. Uh, you can't even smell or tell there's any diesel exhaust coming out of that. The little pipe is for the generator. But uh, here's our, our water area. This is where our city water would hook up, our water fill, our black water fr uh, flush for the holding tanks. And also our dump for the holding tanks is all housed right here in this, this compartment. Moving up to the next one, here's our generator. Uh, it's a Cummins Onan 
12,500 diesel quiet generator, lots of power, very quiet, powers the whole, whole coach. We also have a 50 amp plug-in on the back in case you have a big trailer you need to run an air conditioner, air compressors, things like that. Next compartment up is uh, actually gives us our access to the diesel fuel tank that's uh, 120 gallons. This particular coach carries is in that area and last but not least we have our uh, diesel exhaust fluid, our def tank here. So everything's real easy to get at on uh, this side of the coach for fueling up and uh, getting yourself on the road. Okay, we've got our slide outs out, we've got our awning out, uh, you can see we've got some nice LED side lights here, also have LED lights underneath the awning. So this coach, it's hard to see right now, it's not quite dark enough, also has LED lights underneath the coach that you can have do different things. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, take a look inside and uh, see the cool part. Okay, so we're inside the 35 foot show hauler motor coach here. Uh, as you can see, this unit is very tastefully done. We have black oak woodwork, uh, roller shades. All of the windows are thermal pane windows. This unit is extra insulated, has actually three inches of extra insulation in the floor for good winter use. We've got ultra leather fabric, uh, Corian countertops, and dinette top. Have a nice large uh, bunk up above with a ladder in it. You can sleep a couple people in. Nice flat screen TVs. Here's our opening to get to the driver's compartment. It has a pocket door on it. So if you're going down the road or whatever, you want to totally isolate the back from the front, you can. We also have tile in this unit, uh, regular uh, ceramic type tile. It uh, looks real nice. And this particular couch folds out, flips over, put an air mattress on it. So it basically makes it into a queen size bed with an air mattress. Uh, we also have storage here. You can see this underneath this dinette. There's large storage compartments here. It gives you a lot of extra space. Try to utilize all the storage that we can. Lots of cabinets. This unit is also as tall as we can build them. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice tall over seven foot ceiling on the inside, so it makes it nice and roomy. Some of the amenities uh, we do have, I talked about the Aqua Hot uh, heat system. Outside we basically have, these are the little thermostats for our heat and AC. We've got three of those, so we've got three different zones. We've got three roof air ACs, uh, they're all ducted, so three different thermostats. We can also control the heat for three different areas uh, also. So let's, uh, let's turn around, we'll look at the back side a little bit, show you a few, a few more features. Okay, we're in the kitchen area. Um, we've got, again, our Corian countertops, lots of storage. We have storage over the door here. Uh, this is our entertainment center, surround sound, uh, dish satellite, all of our electronics for the front entertainment, uh, full-size convection microwave. We have an electric cooktop, double sink with real nice cut in Corian tops here so you can use that uh, if you're not using the sink gives you a lot of counter space you have a little pop-up 110 outlets for your coffee maker or whatever it also has some USB ports on there pops up and down depending on whether you need it or not we've got lots of nice drawer space uh, full space underneath here this is one thing we gain with having the aqua hot system typically the water heaters underneath here and then right here we have our basically our control panel where the sink is. This gives us our water levels, turn the water pump on and off, activate the heat system, and uh, holding tank heaters. So everything's, all the controls are nice and handy here and uh, gives you a lot of nice counter space for the kitchen. We'll take a peek at the other side here. We've also got full real tile backsplash in the kitchen here, really finishes it off nice. So across from the kitchen countertop, we have an 18 cubic foot refrigerator. Uh, has a little latch on it here for travel. Real nice size, large bottom freezer. I mean, this is about like what you have in your home. Also, lots of storage here, pantry space. Got a shelf in that one. Pull out pantries in this one. Uh, again, makes for a lot of nice space. Same thing on the other side and overhead cabinets also. So really makes for a 
a uh, nice usable kitchen. Okay, we got a nice size uh, bathroom here, side bath in this particular unit. Uh, we've got, again, Corian countertop in the bath uh, with the vanity there. Shower, full size shower with real tile in the shower. Very nice, very roomy, uh, just like a nice shower that you'd have at home. Okay, here we heading back towards the bedroom. Uh, again, this is a, a super slide back here, has bedroom slide, has bunk beds that slide out uh, so you can sleep two people there. And uh, of course they have their own lights in them, little storage compartment and so forth. We also have a pocket door here that goes between the bunk beds and the rear master to give you some privacy back here. So we'll take a look at the master. Okay, we're in the back of the coach, the master bedroom. We've got king size bed back here. Lots of storage above the bed, escape window. Uh, again, this, this whole coach interior is wainscoted, uh, looks very nice. And uh, as you move around this way, we do have our, some of our power equipment up here, uh, our receivers and so forth. And then we have lots of storage on the other end. This is another, another slide out, it's part of the bunk slide. And uh, we have our, our flat screen TV and our Dish Network uh, satellite box back here too. So with the bunk beds, the bunk up front, the queen bed up front, and the uh, master bed back here, you know, this coach sleeps eight very easily. Uh, ten, ten could be considered because we have the jackknife couch up front too. Uh, also under this slide out is our water for the uh, fresh water. This coach carries 150 gallons of fresh water, so plenty to uh, keep you going on the road for many days. Uh, I think that's about it. We've showed you most of it, but uh, visit us online at rightwaytrailers.com. Like us on Facebook, and we appreciate you watching.